I'd like to take a second to admire our beautiful bride here today, Brittany. Please, please stand up. so thankful to be entering into this next chapter of life with you, doing so before the Lord and with our closest friends and family around us. We have so much to look forward to, and I'm so excited to marry you today. Jesus, would it be a marriage that leads people to you, God, and be full of your joy? So, Lord Jesus, I pray over this ceremony. I pray for such big smiles that our cheeks hurt, God, <laughs> because we are just so amazed by what you have done, Lord Jesus. Would you be praised? I pray this all in your name, God. Amen. Amen. What I have to give, I give to you. Here we are. I'm so amazed by your faith and who you are, Dan. I can joyfully say that you, my husband to be, is a man after God's own heart, and I could not be more thankful that your heart belongs to God. More. Throughout the entirety of our relationship, you have showed me God's unconditional love in tangible and actionable ways. You are faithful, you are humble and kind, and you are so intentional in all that you do. As we've prayed and planned for this day, one thing was abundantly clear. Today is all about Jesus. And so will every day after this in our marriage. In addition to him being our Lord and Savior, the good shepherd who came to find his lost sheep and bring us back to him, he gave us a perfect picture of what perfect love is. I'm blessed I get to call you my wife. I'm blessed I'm marrying my best friend today and every day, I am yours, and you are mine. And in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Dan, you may kiss your bride. Love is a dance made for me Let's get a little rowdy here. For the first time ever, I now present to you Dan and Brittany Tatena. You can feel it. I dream big in life because you dream big and it's true you've accomplished all the things you set your mind to from being an incredible athlete to the most genuine incredible friend but most importantly you love everyone around you with the love of Jesus and it's so evident in all you do. Brittany, I'll never forget the first time I met you. It was about four years ago, and uh, Dan had let me know ahead of time. He said, Adam, he's like, I really want you to meet someone special. We got dinner together, and I just remember driving back to Bloomsburg that day, and I was, I was alone, and I was just thinking to myself, I just met Dan's wife today.
I promise to choose you every single day on the hardest days and on the best days. You are my best friend and I promise to love you with the love of Jesus for the rest of our lives.